In 2 Samuel 19, we have this battle and the beginning of the restoration of David back to his kingdom. His son Absalom had dethroned him and David had been somewhat of a fugitive, but there's this battle that occurs and David is now on his way back to his throne. Listen to these verses. It says, And Joab was told, Behold, the king is weeping and mourning for Absalom. In the battle, David's son Absalom had been killed. And David, instead of celebrating this amazing victory, well, he's weeping and he's mourning. And it says, So the victory that day was turned into mourning. For all the people, for the people heard it said that day, the king is grieved for his son. And so the people stole back into the city that day as people who are ashamed steal away when they flee in a battle. So the people, instead of celebrating and having this great sense of victory and partying, well, they're sneaking back into their homes and ashamed. Ashamed because, well, David is mourning. His son had been killed. But his son had rejected his dad. He had overthrown his kingdom. And he, in some ways, I believe, had experienced the consequences from his actions. And so Joab, the commander of David's armies, goes to him and he kind of rebukes David. Listen to what he says. He says, Joab came into the house of the king and said, today you have disgraced all your servants. They saved your life the lives of your daughters and your family, the lives of your wives and the lives of your concubines, in that you love your enemies and hate your friends. For you have declared today that you regard neither princes nor servants. For today, I perceive that if Absalom had lived and all of us have died, then it would have pleased you well. In other words, he says, David, the message you're given to everyone is you care nothing about them and all about Absalom who dethroned you. And basically he's coming to David and saying, snap out of it. And and here's the thing, there is a time to grieve. There is a time to mourn. And David's doing that, but it's become excessive. It's become something that's gone beyond what it should. It's kind of like, you know, it's okay to walk through the valley in the shadow of death, but don't let yourself get stuck there. Don't go beyond what's normal. Don't don't allow your feelings and your emotions to control you. Get the big picture is what Joab's trying to tell him. Look what God's accomplished. Look what he's done. And I think that part of the lesson, and there's so much more in this chapter, one of the most meaningful, important lessons here in 2 Samuel chapter 19 is that God is sovereign. God is in control. He's not against your emotions. He's not against grieving. But he is against us being controlled by our emotions instead of being controlled by him. So David is kind of given this wake up call to to wake up, don't be led, don't be controlled by your emotions and let the people know that God is sovereign, God is in control and that you're celebrating a victory with them and that you care about them. David was losing perspective. God sends Joab to remind him, hey look, God's sovereign. God's in control. And David, he's given you a great victory. And sometimes we need to be reminded of that. When things happen to us, when when things get tough or difficult, we can get so into our own feelings and into our own motions that sometimes we need someone to come to us and sort of snap us out of it and remind us that God is in control. Yes, we walk through valleys and shadows, but let's not get stuck there.